Generic greetings and welcome to Mega Aquarium. This is a tycoon game where you will be building and managing an aquarium. Essentially, it's a bit like a theme park, but where all of the attractions are purposely put under the water for your amusement. I guess it's a fish zoo, isn't it, as well? Either way, whatever you want to call it, it's a game that I have had my eye on for quite some time. It's by Twice Circled, who brought us um, Big Farmer, which is an interesting and fun puzzle game. So obviously, I was going to check this thing out with it being it's the type of game that it is. It's a tycoon game and, you know, you're building an aquarium. That's quite interesting. And also, it looks pretty good as well and that counts for a lot. Either way, I've played about two hours of this thing thus far, so it's certainly a first impressions, not a review, because I've played the first two missions and I've um, fired up the sandbox and had a bit of a mess around. So you get a total of 10 missions in the campaign and each one will introduce you to different elements and has a bit of a story that goes with it. Um, and then the sandbox, you've got lots of options, some of which I've not even messed around with. So things like trades and merchants I haven't even seen. So uh, as I said, first impression is not a review. Also, I have to point out, I'm recording this a couple of days before release, so... As far as I'm aware, it is feature complete. However, there's going to be some, you know, polish added as it, you know, from now until release, and I'm sure after as well, as well as some um, balancing as well, and um, maybe a couple of tweaks to the UI. But either way, it's pretty much uh, is representative of uh, what you should be getting when it comes out and when it's, it's available. So let's just have a jump into Elm's Horn, be the architect of a private collector's dream aquarium, and uh, let's see what we can do. By the way, today's beverage is <sighs> nice cup of lemon tea so a private collector wants to build a new public aquarium from scratch and they want you to be the architect good i'm very capable of um being an architect where you house things inside of um either bars or glass or cages so let's crack on with that so uh, the rest is down to you oh sorry they've already installed a large tank to be the centerpiece of the aquarium the rest is down to you get the aquarium ready to open remember to fill your animals care requirements to maximize their point value okay so quick run down of the UI. Obviously in the centre your main player field. We can have a look around. You can zoom right in as well and get a first person view to uh, see what things look like. Oh, oh, by the way, for some reason everybody's from some weird uh, weird uh, extra dimension where everything's a bit a bit blurry but yeah, and blue as well. But anyway, <laughs> we can manage. We can handle that. On the top left we have options for demolishing and extending your Extending the footprint of your aquarium as well as walls and platforms and such. On the top right, it's just overview, so toggle the points value of things, whether it's um, no, it basically it's like overlays and UI. On the right hand side, we've got our objectives, so as you can see, uh, centerpiece reward is 2500, and we need to do these things, which I'll get to in a moment uh, as we progress on. Actually, before we even open, the bottom one is open the aquarium. So, we've got options for things like main menu and our staff window, which we'll get to, and then um, also uh, opening the uh, facility. And on the left, we've got uh, our money, which is currently a 4,000 generic units of currency, our uh, message log, and then finally all of the options for building. Speaking of building, uh, we need to get on and build this thing here. So, this is our main tank, and the ensure that the main centerpiece has at least six animals, and it doesn't say fish because you can get things like, well, there you go. There's a royal grammar. We've got a, a reef uh, quirrell fish. Um, I'm sure I'm going to get a lot of these names wrong, by the way, so I apologise for that. We've also got a, a zebra mora eel and a blue knuckle hermit crab. Cool. Anyway, so we've got all of those. There's our fish. We need to have it. Uh, so well, we need to make sure it's got sufficient water quality and sufficient heating. So what do we want to do? Well, for a start, we want to think about the type of animals we want in here. So first things first, um, we need to. We need to know what the animals uh, do and what they cost. So, for example, this half and half uh, Chromis is 16 generic units of currency per fish. It is one prestige. So when when a guest views it, you gain a prestige, and you want to farm prestige in order to level up your aquarium. Um, that's what it's for, really. And it's an overall review of sort of how good you're doing and what. How, how how many attractions you've got inside your uh, inside your aquarium. Uh, we've got a number of ecology points uh, earned when the guest views it. So ecology points is used for researching different animals, essentially. You've got size of the fish because every tank has a maximum size of capacity, uh, a maximum capacity, yeah. Uh, you've got uh, what type of fish it is. So this is tropical. I'm assuming you're going to get... Um, I don't know if you get things like freshwater or um, sea slash saltwater or um, cold water fish, but that'll be later on in the campaign, I'm assuming. You've got the minimum water quality required. You've got the type of food that it eats, which is, in this case, orange pellets. And finally, you've got any special traits. So this one is a, a shawler, so it needs to be in a group at least four half and half uh, fish itself. 
So what we want to do, we want to start building around here and, um, well, let's just see what we can do. So we've got this uh, reef uh, krill fish, which is pretty good on the prestige. It's a fairly small fish. It doesn't like light, but we haven't got any lights in here, so we don't need to worry. It does want cover, and it is a shoreless, so it needs four. So we're going to go one, two, three, four. So that's the minimum required for that. By the way, if you don't fulfill any of these needs, they're not just going to instantly keel over, like literally go upside down and float to the top of the tank. They're not just going to die immediately. It just means that... Uh, their health will go down eventually they can do what I've just mentioned so that's in there but it does require um, some some little hideout so what we're gonna do is put a hide in so we'll say rocky overhang three prestige when someone looks at it it's got it's a cave of eight and also a rock of two now do we need that well probably not we could probably get away with a driftwood cave so uh, actually no I think a rocky overhang might look quite cool so we're gonna put a rocky overhang in there so there we are um, let's see what other fish, see if there's any other fish that uh, really like that sort of thing. Um, this one here, the Zebra Mon uh, Moray Eel, um, that is okay. However, warning, it may eat or damage crustaceans. So we do have a crustaceans there, a crustacean single. And the problem is, well, if we put the moray eel in there, it might get eaten, and I'd rather avoid that. Also, this has a variable size. You can see size is between 4 to 9, and it does say growth time. Increases by 1 each day uh, that all requirements are met. will grow to 9 after 4 days, so, yeah. However, it does, um, it is a cave lover. So, do we want these in? Uh, it means we can't have a blue knuckle hermit crab, and the good thing about blue, blue knuckle hermit crab is it's got filter power, helps maintain basic water quality. So it adds, adds filter power to this thing. So I'm going to forego the zebra moray eel. I'm going to say one, two, three of those in there, which will actually increase the uh, the water quality as well. So we've got four of those in there. We want to get, um, what else do we need? That's a wimp, so wimps cannot be housed with a bully. So you can have one or the other, we just can't have uh, both. Um, so we've got one of those, we've got some of those. This one is um, a fox face rabbit fish, which seems to be a really, really chewy one because it requires a water quality of 70 and also dislikes food competitors, cannot be housed uh, with species that eat green pellets. Well, sorry to say, well, the, the hermit crab doesn't actually eat anything because it's um, it actually, well, it, it does eat, sorry. It's a scavenger, does not contribute to food bio load of tank, automatically fed when any other animal in the tank is fed, because it's a scavenger, which is cool. So, um, do I really want one of these in? It means we can't have anything with um, f feeds on green. Well, we've got an orange pellet feeder there. Mm, what's this one here? This is uh, a red tail butterfly fish, probably 65 water quality, uh, and eats the green pellet. And this angelfish is similar sort of thing, and it, it actually dislikes its own species, so it, can't, it basically doesn't like being in the same thing. Um, what I'll do, I'll put the butterfly fish in there, and an angelfish. There we go, and we need two more. So, I think a bit of colour. There we go, and finally we need... What else do we need? Half and half. There we go. So, there's our fish in there. You can see we've now got some more needs. So we've got zero of two um, foliage, is it? Plant. Okay. So we'll go for these things here, which are good. Um, we want to make it look a bit better. So, I mean, we can have rubble around the place, like that. And... I mean, if you really want to, you can buy, like, things like barrels and anchors and stuff. I'm going to forgo that for now because, quite frankly, I don't want to go bankrupt. So I'm just going to buy the cheaper stuff, things like sea lettuce, um, which you don't need to do this at this point. I'm just, it's just making it you know, look all right. So let's zoom right in. And good grief, it does seem to be a bit glitchy there. Hang on. There we go. And that's not too bad. It's a little bit bare at the front of the tank, but we can spend that money later on when we actually have it. And there's all of our fish in there and the uh, crustaceans at the bottom. So, is this uh, now done? No, it's not, because as you can see, we need green pellets and we need orange pellets. Also, the quality of the water is now 62 out of 70. So, every tank needs to... Um, be connected to well you need things like heating if it's tropical and uh, f you need filter power certain amount of filter power so we've got a combined filter number one here which is combi power so it's providing filter power and heating 
It has a reliability setting, uh, or value rather, which is 85, and it's also, this one is uh, skill required. Fixing this will be time consuming for staff without some skill, so we need to make sure when we hire some staff, they have some skill in that. So we need sufficient water quality and sufficient heating. So the water quality is not the case. So what we need to do is improve that. Now there's multiple ways of doing it. Um, we could, for example, um, extend this so we go along and then back over and then put some heaters either side or some filters either side or what we can do is we can connect it remotely so we can say use a basic pump which connects up I believe within nine spaces and we'll place it there and it connects up and that's now got a pump and everything adjacent to the pump will then be essentially connected to that and you can use both so I've got some there I've got these combi ones there and these things here so I'll put that in there and that is nowhere near done and that's just one off I'll put it there but it doesn't mean I'm gonna have to pick up the pump another clever thing here if I pick up the just the, if I pick up just the filter it moves the filter if I pick up the pump it moves the lot because it's connected to it so it's just a bit less labor intensive so that's all now connected up which is good we however have nowhere to feed the fish uh, these need both orange pellets and green pellets so I'm gonna to have to place some of those what I'm gonna do I'm going to make some walls so I'm gonna build along here and then along and then like that so that's gonna cost me a little bit of money and yes you do have to be very aware of the amount of money that you're spending because you can easily go bankrupt in these campaign missions if you just spend far too much so those are in now and hopefully we'll be able to get some green pellet dispensers some orange pellet dispensers and while we're at it we also need a tool stand for repair there we go okay so there's that in so we also need another tank so as you can see combined so we've got the first one so ensure the centerpiece has the following which it does build additional uh, tanks which is combined food oh sorry a, a combined ecology of 80 I've got 116 so that's good and combined research of 40 out of 80 so we need to do that so we need to build another tank so or at least some additional tanks so I'm going to build an additional tank around here and for that I'm going to expand what we uh, what we have here so I'm probably not going to build it too far probably there should hopefully do because this does cost quite a bit and what we'll do is we'll have a staff door at the end so we'll go down to staff door we'll place a staff door in there and then we'll have a tank probably probably around here so let's go for tanks so you've got basic tank a lagoon tank wall tanks corn tank and obs observer, um, observer tank so your basic tank is literally just it's sort of chest high and it's well, you could call it half height, and it can go anywhere you want. And yes, if you want to just place that there, and then place a filter around it, you can do that. The guests don't seem to be bothered about that at all, which I don't know if that changes later on in the campaign, but I would have thought if they'd seen this, it would reduce prestige, because you're seeing like, all the mechanics, but anyway. Uh, apart that maybe the guests have really, uh, real, good, real good interest in mechanics and filters and such, which uh, could be the case. I'm just going to pick this pump up and uh, shift it to that corner, and then connect it there. It just gives us a bit more. I'll pick that up. And put it that corner there because I can. Right, so we'll go back over to filters. So um, your lagoon tank is um, it's it's the same as the basic one, but it's deeper. So you can see it's uh, it's got a bigger capacity. A wall tank it just goes on a wall. Corn tank, as you can imagine, goes on corner. And obs observer tank sticks out. So we're gonna use a wall tank. I'm gonna just say place it um, like so. Now you can pick up the tank once you've placed it, so you don't need to worry about that one. So we're going to place it like that, and we'll have actually that pick up, and we'll put it in that corner there. And then we'll run a wall all the way along to there. Now, okay, so that's all connected. So what do we want in here? Actually, is that a good place to put it? Um, not really. That's actually not too bad. Right, we'll, we'll, we'll crack on with it. So the tank's in. So how do I want to connect this up? Well, I find that you best off... Placing stuff first and then worrying about it, like worrying about the requirements later on. So I'm going to place some eels in this one. So we've got oh, it's only size 20. That's a problem. Um, can we extend the tank? Is the question. Um, expand tank? No, we cannot. I don't know if there's an option for that. So um, I can place a couple of eels in there. So the eels would give me. Um, I can only replace 
two eels in reality because they grew up to nine. So 18 in total for two of them. And... Well, let's just see what we can do. So we'll put those eels in there. Those require a cave and some food as well. So let's just go for a... Well, food. Put that in the back here. Like so. And we'll have... Some driftwood in there. And eel grass like that. There we go. So that's our... That's our eel tank, which actually looks all right. It's not too bad. Um, I'm just worried about the money that I'm spending here. So we need to get this connected up, which this combi, would it manage it? It wouldn't because it gives us 40. What do we need? A total of um, 20 heating. So I could just get a power heater, or I could, and then I could get a ah, Do I really need that though? Because I could just get a power filter. And that'd be 96, and combine the one. Oh, I won't produce enough anyway. So power heater, definitely heated. Ah, oh, looks like they would have done it. Either way, that's fine. So those are both in. So combined across animals uh, is um, 72 out of 80. So we need some more. We need some more fishies. Um, could put a royal gamma in here. And there we go. And that should technically be us. So what we'll do is we'll hire some staff. And then we'll see what happens. So here we go. This is our staff um, hiring area. So we've got all the staff. We've got the names. So Flick. Uh, Hyperactive Flick is very quick on her feet. She's excellent at picking up odd jobs across a large aquarium. Fitness 8. So she's got a speed of 169%. So she's very, very fast. Precision is 1. So it determines natural talent for fixing and lesser extent feeding. Empathy is 5. So determines natural talent for feeding and lesser extent gift shop. And you see they've got overall skills. So feeding 1, fixing 1, and cleaning 2. I'm going to hire her as a general skills person. We need someone who is good at someone who's good at um, probably fixing and feeding. So Fred is good at fixing three, but I think if we go for Nigel, who's feeding two and fixing two, that sort of fixes us there. That's 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 us. Okay, so let's just open the aquarium. And there you go. And now people will turn up. So, what's this? So, corals. The collector wants to explore the world of corals with your help. The next objective is to unlock disco mushroom and add it to your aquarium. You should expand your aquarium to increase your ecology and science income. More tanks and more animals equate more income. Also, keep an eye on your profits. Even with the collector investment, you'll need to manage the aquarium profitably. Yep, yeah, I'm, I'm aware of that. So, you can see the staff are running around. Um, we now have a pop-up for our research. So, we've got things like the uh, panther grouper. we got... Yeah, oblique lined dotty back. I don't know if these are real fish. I'm assuming they are because, you know, the very, very weird fish. And that one there, armor, um, has effective size of 12 when calculating whether the predator can eat it. So there's actually a very big, there's a sort of puzzle element to this one where you, you can just fling loads of fish in a tank and hopefully it just gets on with it. Or you can... Uh, or you can just, you know, spam loads of little fish in there and go, eh, that's fine. But in reality, to get, like, the best possible one, what you want to do is look at all of the traits and get the sort of the best combination of all of them together. So they're all working together in harmony and you're getting, uh, you know, the best prestige of it. So we're going to research the Disco Mushroom. And you can see now someone has actually turned up. So this is Jill and she's... Uh, Essentially, we're not harvesting prestige per se, but we are. We've gathered so much prestige off her looking at this sort of stuff. Uh, so currently, we're on 14 there. That's good. And then, uh, yeah, David's doing the same thing. Really like that blue knuckle hermit crab. Very good. So let's just see what it's like in uh, first person. Hi, how's it going? Um, do you like the aquarium? And look at the fish there. And that one. Sort of at the top there. Interesting. Oh, well, actually, feed, feeding time. Hang on. Uh, we've got our science project here. So, a protein skimmer, which is protein skimmer power, helps achieve a higher water quality. Uh, we'll, we'll start unlocking that. So, I haven't actually 
touch that. Now you can see what's happening here is um, because this is a full height tank, we have to have these steps where the workers go on the top and they are now feeding that. There we go. So I also the fish went moving. Now they're moving. <laughs> you can see they're all swimming about there. Obviously things are quite stylized. You can see the way the water is like... Um, it's like polygonal, for lack of a better term. You can see that you can see it better underneath the way it is. <laughs> and everybody looks like they're dead on the inside. But they're at an aquarium, so you know, it's a nice place to be at least. Anyway, so we're gonna go out and we need to unlock the disco mushroom. Uh, unlock the protein skimmer and we need to build a tank with disco mushrooms, protein skimmers, sufficient lighting and things like that. So I think what we'll do is we'll copy the same on this on the right hand side. So one, two, three, four is how we expanded it. So we'll say build out from four and then down to there and I think that's right. So from this bit one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Yes, so that's fine. We d don't need it to be symmetrical, but it helps. Um, and what we'll do is we're going to have the same sort of tank. So we'll just... Uh, we don't really need that bit, actually, because we're going to put a, a staff door in there, aren't we? So now it's going to be a bit annoying to gauge where stuff is. There we go. Especially when the walls drop down like that. You can... Um, hide all walls and unhide them as well. There we go. So that's that in. Uh, we'll put our tank in. So we'll say tank. Um, it's going to be the same sort of thing. Wall tank. Uh, rotate it round to there. And then we'll have a wall all the way to the end there. Now, guests will have certain needs. So they need to sit down and or rather they like to sit down. They um, want to eat things and you know they get tired and such so we've got that in there we've got some place for them to sit we're going to have a bin right next to them like that and then what we're also going to have some drinks machines which can go i think there is a decent place there we go obviously you can't put well you can put them in front of there but it stops people standing there looking at it and it just generally looks terrible and i've just placed that right on a person which is now forced them on the inside now they will uh, i think wander out themselves but you can actually pick them up and then uh, move them as well so there we go we've done just that and are they are they yeah, they're, they're okay, I think. Okay, and they also have a weird neck shimmer when they're going across this because of the shade. <laughs> anyway, so um, that's all getting fed. Uh, we do have a couple of issues there when the staff are doing the same thing and they go inside. There's not like a waiting bit. A mm, little bit iffy, but hey-ho. Um, we also haven't fed these in there, but at least that is being fulfilled. So we are... Yeah, they, you see they're running around and they're going to be fed. There we go, there's our eels getting fed. And we're gathering loads of points. You see we're gathering prestige. Racking up prestige. Racking up research points, which is all just by looking here. Why are they bored? Really like the reef squirrel fish, blah, blah, blah. They're retired. Is it because that's all they've seen? Uh, maybe. We could go ahead and get another... At least they're flinging their rubbish in the bin, which is good. Uh, maybe we should get this, this tank up and running. So what could we put in there? Well, we haven't got any of these things, which dislikes food competitors, cannot be housed with other species that eat green fish, also size 7. So let's go for that. We'll have one of those in, because why not? I'm just going to pause it while we do this. Um, you can see that there, look, water temperature too low. So it's uh, it's risk of death because I've just I literally dumped it in cold water. But I pause it, place it, pause it, and then um, you can see... There it is there, look. That's its overall health and um, not good. But once we put the other stuff in, it should be fine. So we need to make sure that it um, has... Cannot be housed with other species that eat green pellets. So everything has to be yellow or red pellets. So um, the crab... Um, we could have a couple of those in. And also uh, yellow pellets. Um, the reef fish needs to have four in its size four, so we're not going to fit that in, sadly. And that we can't have the zebra mon uh, moray eel in because it happily eats crustaceans. So how much space have we got left in this tank? Um, we got nine left in the tank. And that's orange. To wimp, that's fine then. There we go. All right. 
So, let's connect everything up. So, I'm going to go for a power heater combi, which has almost fulfilled the needs, but just not quite. So, that's not a problem. We'll just put, um, or while we're here, uh, do we need anything else? Actually, we don't know. What we'll do is we'll put a, uh, a power filter in. I think a normal filter would resolve, but I'd rather overdo it than underdo it. So, that's going to get, you know, that's going to... Um, get food up, brought over there. Um, instead, what we'll do then is go for um, the food right back here, so they don't have to travel from the centre and run around. Although, because of Flick, we don't really need to worry too much about that, because she's quite quick. We don't need red, we need the green. So it gets quite complex quite fast. Uh, we also need a tool station to repair things. So I'm going to put a tool station in the centre and we'll place them um, in the corners here as well. Actually, not going to put them there. I'll place them doesn't really matter. Like that. And what we do need in this corner and other places as well is a broom shed. A broom cupboard. Um, we'll put one in there. Just so we can clean about, you see. We don't need it everywhere. There you are. So, that's now unlocked. So that will hopefully get us some more prestige. Yes. Oh, what, what was that? Oh, they didn't like something. Tank 3 looks a bit bare. Oh, it is a bit bare. To, to be honest, they're not wrong about that. So, I would really like a rocky overhang. But it's also quite expensive. And I'm worried about my money. Um, net cash flow. That, uh, because of building costs, as you can see, is... Uh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> We'll hopefully not be building too much in a moment, once we've done this. So, uh, we can't place the kelp because it requires a deep tank, which is either the ones sunk into the ground or the ones that are full height. So, instead, what we'll do is have some... I've already got some of those. Can't place rubble. Small rocks. And got some special stuff somewhere. Where is it? That's oh, in here. Barrels, conch, and anchor. Place an anchor in there. Uh, we can place an anchor. We just need to move that. So we're going to shift this. I'm going to place it at the front there. You can shift them between the different tanks. It's fine. And place an anchor in there. And that's some money that I really shouldn't have spent. But anyway, the anchor gives us prestige as well. You can click on the tank and you can see all of the stuff in there. There we go. Right, so... That's now getting everything fed in there. Let's have a quick look. We'll see what the tank is like. Um, well, it's got an anchor in it, and it seems to be working. Cool. Right. So that should be everything there. So it's just a matter of probably knocking the speed up a bit and seeing what we get. Ah, that's a problem. Ah, you can see this now. The water qualities went down to 69 out of 70 because this is broken down. If we click on that, um, you can see we've got the minimum there. And we actually are on the minimum with all of this with 70. <laughs> Good grief. Um, so stuff is broken down. and Oh, that's a problem. I can't repair that. So I'm going to have to pick that up and shift it. There we are. Maybe another a staff member would be of use. But actually, no, maybe, maybe we don't need it. Maybe we don't need it. Uh, other stuff you can do, you can happily paint things, so you can get things like a tropical uh, beach paint, like that, so it's uh, painting the painting the tanks there, so instead of being this, like, tiles, it paints it so it's matching the back. I'm, nah, doesn't really matter, it's all aesthetic choices in it, it doesn't, um, as far as I'm aware, it doesn't do anything, or does it do anything? No, it doesn't cost anything, and it doesn't give you any prestige, I don't know if that changes later on. Um, I'd... I can see this if there's lots of different paint styles. I can see this getting bloated. I mean, the fish one is already a bit, you know, I'm already scrolling quite a bit. Um, filters would be nice. <laughs> uh, being able to filter, like, out uh, what type of fish and things like that. Or just tabs. Something like that. Either way, instead of having to scroll all the way. Especially when you place them and you have to reopen and such. Anyway, there's some animals unlocked. That's a disco mushroom. And we're going to go for the... What's that one there? Dislikes... What, can't be housed with dotty backs, grammars, and. and this is. Uh, I don't know what a congener is, I'm guessing a type of fish. This one here, that eats cockles. Um, it's a wimp, it's armoured, which you've seen. Warning, may eat or damage starfish. <laughs> 
So loads of different traits. We're gonna go for the Panther Griver. There we go. So most corals, including disco mushrooms, need light to supplement their food. You need to add light to each tank that contains corals. The cost of the light is proportional to the size of the tank. Smaller tanks are cheaper. Or small tanks are cheaper to light. Okay, so we will now have. I'm guessing light. Oh, we also got a zoo plankton dispenser, which is for the coral. So if we go over to the coral, we can go right down here, and there we go. There's the disco mushroom. So it's soft coral. Avoid placing with tank mates, which are in, uh, which are a danger to soft coral. Uh, what else have we got? There's our base light. So we can light this thing up if we really wanted to. Which does it add prestige, or is it just a requirement? Um. It is. It just provides light. So yeah, it's just just requirement tab. Um, so obviously some fish don't like it. Some people do. So we need to unlock the protein skimmer, which is getting there, and then we've unlocked the fish as well. But basically, that's that's your moment to moment of the game. You'll be uh, building and managing the aquarium. You're going to be gathering a certain number of prestige. We need. Um, what do we need for the next one? Oh, there's no available next rank because this is the campaign. We will get it after we've done these uh, coral bits. It'll say right now we'll get to prestige rank so and so. Um, guess thoughts. You can see they really like the hermit crab. Hermit crabs are very popular. Eight guests are saying that. And um, yeah, the angelfish as well. And the um, the, the eels are up and coming. But yeah, I mean, if I wanted to expand, what I'd probably do is build down here and I'd put the tank in the centre and probably go ahead and have a room off to the side and then uh, power it directly so we'd have things like I'd probably have that tank the lagoon tank around here um, so let's see if we expand to say like there like that and we'd have a lagoon tank and I wonder what size we can have it uh, we can have it probably a fairly big size but you know what I think I think that is a fine size we'll have it in there and then what I'm going to do is have this uh, walled off at the back like so. And obviously I'm going to pick up these uh, guests and say, you move out please, thank you. And we'll, let's just put the coral in. So, let's just try it. So we need, um, paint, put the decoration on, because why not. Uh, we need to have the coral in there. So we'll have to use pumps. Uh, so, oh, we need to unlock the protein skimmer first. Actually, we'll unpause it and we'll just build this as we're progressing on. There's a new animal I'll unlocked, and I'm just going to start researching whatever because we don't really care too much what we're getting. So we want um, oh, requirements first. We know we need lights. So there's the lights, and boom, they're now lit up. There you go. And we need to have our coral. So the coral will go down to the bottom, and it is 70% water quality required. Uh, it's zooplankton every two days. Um, it's soft coral, needs a light of five, and growth time increases by one for each day. So it looks like this light, we, it just gains five. So I'm assuming the lights are just five, yes. So that would cost, it doesn't tell me. Our basic light, 153 for that one and 100, 549 for that one. So yes, it did say about the size, that the size, or well, the cost is based on the size of the tank. So yeah, now, I don't know why, oh, see this here? This now has got its uh, low water quality, and the reason for that is that the fish have got bigger. So if I check the fish, you can see it now 18 out of 20 because the fish have grown to a larger size, so they have a higher requirement. So I'm gonna go for a filter and place a filter there, and then that should be us okay. So the plankton filter should be done shortly. I'm going to crack on and build a staff door in here. I don't know why the staff door doesn't overwrite in valid placement. It would be nice if it just over overwrote the overwrote that place. Uh, what if what have we got there as well? Floor arrow. What force people one way so you can say go that way and then that way. I don't really care either way because they go they go through each other anyway and they're just happily wandering around although it does look a bit chaotic <laughs> anyway so we want in this place um i don't know what we want do, what do we need inside for where the coral are because they won't be wandering around will the coral not historically and whatnot not not really disposed for traveling very far you can see how that's a d really deep tank see that's sort of sunk into the ground so this one we could probably have the kelpin. Yes, we could we could have the kelpin. But I'm waiting for this to be completed, which will be done any moment. And then we'll probably research a better filter because that's something that we are having some problems with. 
I think also we'll hire um, someone that's better with fixing. And then this one's got a feeding. So you've unlocked the oblique lined dotty back. A care requirement you haven't seen before. Dislikes um, cog genners or con genners. Either way, it means that it can't be stand can't stand being around any other member of their genus or their family. All right. So they can't cope with grammars and dotty backs and stuff like that. Okay, fair enough. So we'll worry about that later on. Actually, we probably won't at all because we're just going to focus on getting this. Uh, Yes, protein skimmer up. So pick next. We've got large filter or large heater, large filter for sure. So if I want the protein skimmer, um, filtering alone doesn't uh, isn't enough to reach the high water qualities required by corals and delicate fish. You need a protein skimmer too. One of your disco mushroom tanks and use a different water quality. Okay, so so what I'll do is I will for a start buy a basic pump. And the problem with that is. Don't know if we'll be able to connect everything. So there's that connected. So we need a protein skimmer. So we'll place that in here. And let's place some disco mushrooms in there. So fish or well, animals. And there's one. Cool. And I mean, I don't know how many to place, but we'll say that. So we need food for that. There we go. And water temperature is too low. Yes, we are aware. So I will place a combi in that corner. And that's it done. Woo, they really like that. Oh, but well, they're going to say it's bare, though. They're going to say it's really bare, which I'm aware of. So what I'll do is place that in there and then that um, there. And that does look fairly ugly with the, like, the big black rocks in there. Mm, I thought it would blend a bit better. Anyway. Um, so small rocks. If we put some of these small rocks in, it might make it a bit better. But that's our coral. So it says build a tank with a protein skimmer. Right. It wasn't completing it because it was on the on that for some reason. Congratulations on turning your first coral. A collector currently compiling a wish list of what they want from the aquarium. In the meantime, you should continue to unlock new animals and equipment and try and progress to rank five. As you expand your aquarium, it comes easy for some tanks to get missed by your guests. You can get feedback on this via the view rate overlay toggled using the button at the top right. So does that? If I if I if I place that there. Yes, it does fulfill it. It was just a, an issue with the um, just an issue with the, uh, the requirements up here. It needed to be adjusted there, even though it does still work with the filter by the look of it. Anyway, so I mean, there's all, all sorts of things we can build. I mean, we probably want some more benches in here. That's um, fairly standard. Um, like that. So then go all the way around. And what I'd probably do in the end is I'll probably put some bins in between like that. And that'll allow them to sit down. And obviously at the back here, we want things like a a tool station and a broom stand and such. But there, I mean, and we'll just, you know, crack on and, and build it. But that basically is a bit of the fish zoo game. <laughs> yeah, fish zoo. Yeah, Mega Aquarium. It's, uh, it's quite good. I quite like it. It's it can be get it can get very com uh, very complex it um, very quickly with your you know having to manage all of the fish together and that's sort of the point, isn't it? That is sort of the point. It uh, and you can make some decent looking stuff there. Yeah, I like the, all the color schemes going on in there. This one's a bit of a mixed bag. Um, I don't know if the fish sort of um, tend to like chase each other. They do. They do seem to, like clip through rocks and stuff like that. Like if we will be able to see them, just like go through them. They don't seem to, like swim, th like shawl around and like spin around. And I don't know. They've got. They haven't got. I mean, look there. They haven't got like great character. I don't think. But I mean, they're all right. It should be nice if they uh, had a bit more. Oh, they're growing. Oh, the corals all growing, which makes perfect sense. I wonder if it gets um, bigger and bigger and spreads out. I don't know. Either way, they've got another animal unlocked. We'll unlock that one. But yeah, that's a bit of Mega Aquarium. I quite like it. I do quite like it indeed. It's um, it's a bit of a challenge. It's um, not overly 
complex at this point, but this is only level 3, remember, out of a total of uh, 10. And the the campaign, sorry, the sandbox has many, many different settings. So I'm sure, I'm sure <laughs> it will get very, very uh, head scratchy at the time. And you're gonna get, you're gonna unlock more things for the um, for the guests. So there'll probably be kiosks and stuff like that, and you'll be able to sell different things. And you, obviously, it's the whole point of the campaign is introducing more. But from my first impressions, is it's quite good. So, yeah, I quite like it. I'm going to be playing more and uh, checking out. If you want to see more, then by all means, let me know. Links in the description so you can check it out yourself. Comments in the comments. Thanks very much for watching. Take care and generic partings.